So this, this particular base that, that that duck has ordered um, is a full, uh, it's a single, single cut. So there's just this one cut, this solid. It's a uh, Claro Walnut on the top, alder, alder core, and then uh, uh, flamed maple on the back. This particular one is interesting base also because Duck ordered it with walnut uh, in the neck. So there's a walnut tapered core and two um, maple rails. And I've actually never used walnut in a neck before, but I was really pleased with the way it came out. It's got great tone. It's a, and also it's really lightweight. I mean, so walnut is way lighter in weight than wenge. Um, it's, it's got an Indian rosewood uh, fretboard and uh, Aguilar OBP3 preamp with uh, two fat stack uh, Nordstrand pickups. And this bass, as a lot of Clara Walnut basses that I make, has a real, you hear the wood in the tone and it has a nice range and I think it will really fit in well uh, with the group. It, it, it maybe is not as much of a solo soloing bass as it is a nice overall rounded tone and will really blend well with a, with a large group. So that's that one. And here is the second bass that uh, Duck ordered. This one has a, a heart and sap bubinga top. And the bubinga, oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous the way it the sheens with the light. This one has um, in a Nordstrand preamp, Nordstrand three band preamp, and the pickups are single coil. They're big singles, Nordstrand big, big singles. Um, it has a wenge tone layer and a mahogany, African mahogany uh, body core and back. And uh, Duck wanted a rosewood uh, electronic cavity cover just for the heck of it. This neck has uh, maple rails, paddock stripes, and wenge tapered core in the center. And the fretboard is cocobolo, nicely figured cocobolo. Anyway, this, this bass feels to me like a soloing bass. It has a nice, it really steps out in tone. It's got an extremely rich tone, a big tone that you get a big bottom and, a, and strong mids with uh, Bubinga and with Wenge. So it's got plenty of Wenge and, and Bubinga. Full top. Um, so this is, uh, there's a little sculpting on the bottom that I did that I like. I like that sculpting. It sort of turns the edge. Anyway, of the two, this one would be more of the soloing instrument. This one would be more of what you would play orchestra, you know, in a, in a big orchestra or a choral kind of setting with a lot more players.